So that's good at least. And now hopefully, even though Starmie's dead, which is kind of the point of the C trade, unfortunately Starmie died to pursuit. But we could still kill the Chansey, which is always good. Maybe if he lets me. He what the? These niggas are crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, it's Gator and we're back on Showdown for some more Showdown Live action. I'm in Tokyo, man. We're here. We live in, we made it. Uh, I start school in a couple weeks, but for now, there's not too much to do. Uh, I still have to get like all of my paperwork and garbage done. But besides that, we're settled in. <sighs> Got the whole setup. The Saki Chad in the background. <sighs> it's almost noon. I don't know why I'm tired. Of course, I was partying. Like, I, I don't party. That was a joke. But anyways, uh, I haven't played Pokemon in a couple days, but I was mainly playing Pokemon while uh, I was like, I don't know, I didn't have my desktop. I only had my laptop because Hearthstone was like really laggy. So I actually played a couple hundred games uh, this past week but not any in the couple last days so I just made this team uh, about half an hour ago and I played on it on my secret account <laughs> I don't know if this function is still on here but I remember that like, you could look up the alts of other players names I don't remember if that was on showdown or PO but it's a uh, secret unless it, unless you can easily just find it in that case it's not a secret I don't really care I'm just not playing on it uh, where am I going? Oh, there it is. Alright, so, I wanted to use a Starmie, and then, the more I started making the rest of the team, I, I realized, well, I, I'd really like it if Starmie just didn't have Rapid Spin or Recover, I just had all the attacks. So I went with just straight up four attacking Starmie, uh, I don't think you're gonna see this much, like, whenever I see a Starmie, it's never, it's never this, like, maybe it's Specs, but it still has, like, some sort of utility, whether it's Rapid Spin, Recover, or whatever. Even Thunder Wave, whatever move you want to freaking use. I'm just going with straight damage, four attacks. I uh, played a couple games earlier, and like he thought he he led with like an Empoleon, right? And I Thunderbolted it. And he thought I was gonna Rapid Spin, but I just Thunderbolted again. And then I I ended up using Thunderbolt, Psychic, and Ice Beam before I died, and he was just completely confused. So it has a lot of coverage. It's really hard to switch into because it's analytic. I'm talking too much about it. Let's just keep going, because of course I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. I have a Ferrothorn. I was debating on putting Thunder Wave on this thing, but I could not bring myself to do it. Thunder Wave might be better on this Ferrothorn because I don't have any Scarfer. So if something sets up a little too much, it could be a problem. But so far I haven't run into that issue. It's hard for them to set up against this team because I have really fast offensive threats. So hopefully that won't be an issue. Uh, I have HP Fire Latios because the games where I did get demolished, it was because of a Scizor. Um, my only real answer is kind of Magma Storm for Scizor, and if that misses, I kind of just lose. So I put HP Fire on my Latios, hopefully I can at least weaken it a little bit or something. Uh, we got Defensive Lander, Standard, Slow U-Turn helps with Star V and Mega Low Pony, and then just some, the Magma Storm Tran for Stall Breaking and wearing down some bulky waters maybe. I hope you, I didn't do a test run, I hope you can hear me from where I am. I hope I don't sound too different. This room is really, 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 really small. Like, you take about eight steps, you're from one end of the apartment to the next. Like, it's super small. And I'm right beside, literally right beside, like, an elementary school. Like, I can open, like, my balcony door and take, like, three steps if I, like, jumped off, and I'd just be in the elementary school, like, playground. So, <laughs> that's always lovely. Uh,. I don't know how many points we have, but I'm assuming it's high enough. We're just gonna battle against the Black Bullet. I don't know what that means. I think he's trying to just be cool with his name, and then he has the one like tacked on at the end. So that's not that cool. And of course, we got the damage calc open. See, I was playing a little bit earlier. I played against a Meloetta, and then we have the Smogon is the way to go. Open. So he has bugs. But we got Bugsy over here. He's a hippo. So I'm just gonna leave Starmie because it threatens like oh well he doesn't have a switch in. 
I don't have to predict because it's Starmie. So I'm just gonna Hydro Pump. Like he goes low, bro. I just Thunderbolt. He goes Lottie has his Ice Beam. I have coverage for everything. He goes, man, if he if this hits, ah, I'm pretty sure the combination of an analytic hydro pump and the thunderbolt would have knocked that out. That is very unfortunate. I don't want to stay in because I don't want this to take too much damage. Before this was a Latios, this was a Latios with Healing Wish, which kind of helped the star me, but eh. I'm just gonna go into Ferrothorn. Doubles into Lottie. Scouting for the Thunderbolt, okay. So maybe we can catch him with that again. Uh, this could have HP Fire, it could not. Uh, I can scout with Heatran. Let's see, doubles into Heracross, which unfortunately outspeeds me. And Landorus kind of loses to it too. Unless this is, does Adamant outspeed? Let's see. Oh no, 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 he has to be Mega Pinsir. This is definitely a regular Heracross. Unless it's regular pincer, please don't be regular pincer. Okay. So that's probably Scarf or something. He just took a butt ton of damage. And we're gonna get our rocks up here. Uh, hazards are really good, but this, what the fuck? <laughs> huh? What was that? Well, he can't do that again, right? I'm pretty sure that's only a one-time use. That's actually pretty unique, I guess. Like that hurts. So now it's worn down for Pinsir. But now I get to go into Starmie and click Analytic Hydro Pump. And whatever he brings in, I click the appropriate coverage move. So let's go. Because Manaphy, please connect. Look at that damage. It's so much damage. It's so much damage. It's too much. And now I'm just going to Thunderbolt. Uh, last time he switched, he might switch again, but we'll see. Nope. Oh, okay. So we got him with that. Because of that earlier switch where he where we switched out against his Manaphy, he probably thought we didn't have Thunderbolt. The only reason I switched out is because I didn't I don't know how much energy ball does. I'm sure we could beat it one-on-one, -on -one, but just to be safe, switch out of there. Go slow, bro. Um, I don't know if that's because he's mad. I know it's not gonna die, but it's gonna do a lot. I am a little sick, if you can't tell. This place is kind of dusty. So I've uh, acquired a bit of a colder allergy thing. Oh. <laughs> that was good damage. Don't want to take that damage? This thing beats like his whole team. Especially since this aircraft isn't scarf. I don't think I want to take that damage. I think I'm fine going into Ferrothorn here and not getting a doubled. This guy is something else. And he's gone. <laughs> I guess he. I don't understand. I guess he wants a life orb to wear me down, right? But if I. I don't know. I mean, if it, if it, whatever. I don't, I don't like doing stuff like that because I feel like when you, when you put yourself in a situation to like life orb stall a Pokemon, you just. It's just one play the opponent has to make to where it just breaks your your attempt. Like you keep switching around like, oh, this is gonna, he's going to go for Ice, he's going to go for Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump. And then I just click Hydro Pump twice or something and then your attempt is just gone. Just like that. Like he has to make every prediction right, only has to make one right. That's what I'm trying to say. So I don't like putting myself in a situation like that. Apparently he doesn't care. And I guess we'll just find another. It doesn't look like he's coming back. Oh. Wait, what? Where's the find? Is add game you find? Uh, I don't know what that means. We got 10 seconds left anyway. Okay. I don't I don't know what Oh I guess add game doesn't mean find. Because that changed. Okay. Oh, he has a chancy. Well we got the Tran. So this is one of the reasons he Tran is on the team with this set, because Starmie doesn't matter how much coverage it has, it gets walled by Chansey, even with Psy Shock's not doing that much. Uh, any of the Tyranitar. Starmie's not going to be able to do too much. I am going to leave Starmie still. Ah, he led straight off with T-Tar. What the fuck? <laughs> Who does this? Come on. I, this doesn't kill, but, like, come on. I mean, you might go with the Chansey and fair the Hydro Pump, but I don't know. 
I was, cause I was debating being little pony, but it's like he has Lando, it doesn't matter. Yeah, did he pursue, please pursue and don't kill? He's stealth rocked. And unfortunately this, I mean, may, maybe fortunately this army doesn't have rapid spin. So what I'm actually gonna do is just double in the Heatran. Ah, uh, that's kind of obvious. We don't, we don't want to double in here. We're just gonna, but we should double. We can double in the landers. Let's, let's double in the landers. Oh, we got. Why? Why? Oh, we lose this game. That's, that's one way to just instantly lose the game. What was that, dude? Oh my god. So we, we just gonna click high jump here. Seriously, Stealth Rock Pursuit? I didn't even know that was a set anymore. I thought that was like 5th gen. <laughs> I mean, you can run whatever you want in your Tyranitar, technically. I mean, it has a really wide variety of options, but Stealth Rock Pursuit, dude? Whatever. Like, I used to run that all the time. I used to run Stealth Rock Pursuit and Crunch. I didn't like Stone Edge or Ice Beam or whatever. He goes Zapdos. I guess he wants to paralyze me or something? Well, I could return for damage, or I could just go body. The only reason he brings this in is if you want a Thunder Wave or something. He just Thunderbolted. And <laughs> he gets the Paralysis. I can't even tell if this is Scarf now. Oh wait. It, it has to be Scarf. Right? Because it doesn't have leftovers. And there's no reason he would- why would he bring it- that would he even have killed? I don't understand what that just happened. I really don't understand, but we can hopefully double in the Heatran here because he has Chansey and Metagross as his switches. Okay. So that's good at least, and now hopefully, even though Starmie's dead, which is kind of the point of this Heatran, unfortunately Starmie died to Pursuit, but we could still kill the Chansey, which is always good, maybe, if he lets me. He- what the- <laughs> These niggas are crazy! <laughs> oh my god. Why would he even risk that? What is he? Why would he risk that? I don't understand. Uh, I could just Earth. I don't think Earth Power would kill, right? But let's see how much damage it does do. Because I am max special attack. I'm not sure how much that does to Ball Canyon. Blank set, really? You don't even have the the set there. The let's just give it max HP and see. Okay, and he's clearly gonna kill us with steam eruption. The thing is, he could like predict and go for fire blast. So I think we gotta pivot into Latios. It's paralyzed. It's basically useless. He does go for steam eruption. Uh, that crit probably didn't matter. This guy's talking too much. Jesus Christ. Like, he makes a comment after every fucking turn. <laughs> Why? Why do you do that? Uh, we can just leap seed. We can spam more steam eruptions. No burn. And the seed connects. Oh, it's good. Very good. Nice seeds. Have been planted. I could double seed. It's an option. Uh, because Zapdos is there waiting. But I do have heat tramp for Zapdos pretty much. Could go for a spike. Let's just go for a spike. He does go into Zapdos. This has to be Scarf, like full switch or something. And he, he uh, I don't know if he's gonna predict the Heatran to come in. Because I can't actually touch him, right? And I'm assuming this has Volt Switch. And he just saw it, I revealed Magma Storm on my Heatran, so he has to assume it's a stall break. But this guy is insane. Like, he lets. <laughs> this guy's actually a little insane. So I'm not sure what attack he wants to go for right here. It's, it has to be Heat Wave, or it has to be uh, an electric move like Volt Switch. I don't see him going for HP Ice. If he goes for HP Ice, he's actually like next level insane. So I'm going to go in Landers as a pivot in case he goes for the Heat Wave. Okay, so he went for Thunderbolt. I'm assuming it's Scarf. It doesn't have to be a Scarf. I'm going to pray that this thing is Scarf. Because he brought it in against a Low Pony, hoping... See, this is why I think he's insane. I don't even think Thunderbolt would have killed my Low Pony if this is Scarf. Maybe I'm wrong. Why are they like... And then... 
Uh, oh god, I can't. I, I can't spell. Yeah, that that doesn't even kill. And I get I can do a butt ton of damage back. I don't know. I bet you he talked a whole. It's not even scarf. What the? I would it. What's going on? What is this? Does, does this have HP ice? I just stone it. What? Okay. I mean, I should just tell it off again. Oh, so it does have heat wave. All right, and we'll just uh, we could earthquake, but I'm just just on edge. I'm just gonna spam this. Oh, I actually can't because of pressure. So that that could be a problem. Uh, we could just double in the heat trend then. Not double, just switch. Just switch in the heat trend. Because now that we know his whole set, this is most likely especially defensive or something. And I have Toxic, which is really good against something like that. Catch that Toxic. He's still has Steam Eruption, so I'm just gonna go straight into Ferro Thorn. Maybe Fire Blast, I can go back into Heatran and threaten his whole team. <laughs> that does so much damage. Now we Leech Seed, which is pretty good if we land it. We do get it off. We go Heatran because this thing can't touch my Heatran with that set. And Heatran kind of beats his whole team, except that the Landorus is like offensive. The Volcanion. I mean, Ferrothorn is basically dead. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't do too much against the rest, and I'd rather have Heatran against the rest of his Pokemon, so I'm not gonna make a ballsy play and risk it. So this Fire Blast. And like I said, if we go Heatran here, he has like nothing to switch into this at this point. So I just smack him storm. And the next time this comes in, it dies to Earth Power. Oh, what? Don't miss. Why would you let that take all that damage? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, just in case it's offensive, we get up on out of there. Oh, that thing's almost dead. That's good. Uh, he can bring in Volcanion one more time right here. But low plenty. I mean, he tried low plenty basically beat the rest of his team. So we, I think we can play it safe and we'll be fine for the rest of the game. He doesn't. He goes Zapdos instead. I thought he would go. What you call it? Uh, Volcanion. I guess it doesn't have speed. He doesn't have speed on it. I don't know. So there is a 50-50 if I want to take this route, or I could just go into Heatran. <laughs> kind of just like going into Heatran and not playing with the 50-50. Ah, the boost. Just what I needed is a delicious boost. Um, yeah, I mean, just click Magma Storm. I'm assuming this is Scarf. I'm uh, not Scarf, but Specs. It did 30 to a Ferrothorn. If this is Scarf, I'm gonna be really upset. But I don't think it is. Yeah, okay. And Chansey loses to this. Uh, Landers is the only thing. If uh, he has speed on it, that can touch me. So like I said, I didn't want to risk that play earlier when he fire blasted my Ferrothorn. There was, there was no reason to do that. Now I just taunt. Don't let this thing do anything besides Seismic Toss. Yeah, and then we just Toxic. And he can't really do much in return. I just click Magma Storm if he wants to switch. And this thing kind of beats the rest of his team. Oh, please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit. <gasps> I hate it when it does. It just goes off to the side like that. Like, come on, dude. Just gonna play it safe. Landorus goes for earthquake. I can just U-turn. This is, I'm assuming, choice. It's Chansey, and now I go low plenty and kill something. I think, right? I, I know Chansey. Okay, so Chansey is deceptively like physically bulky, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna die. <laughs> okay. It look, it doesn't even Oko. It's not even guaranteed Oko. Broken. Completely broken. But now something does die. Unless I miss. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I, mean, I don't give a shit. You can just spam it. Hopefully I don't miss. Or he sacks Landers. Because Landers is like his only thing that beats 
can potentially beat my team at this point. Okay, it's time to stack. Zap those Dormis, Dormis. Okay, no miss, no static, no static. Rocky helmet, what the? Why does he have Rocky helmet? It doesn't matter. I mean, his Scarf Landers, Heatran, I think, beats Chansey one on one, and he has a Scarf Landers, which does nothing. So, yeah. Uh, I should just probably Toxic immediately. Because he knows I have Taunt. Get that Toxic damage off. And then, just Magma Storm him. Oh my god, how many of these can miss? I'll just magma storm again. Get the trap. Let me taunt. As long as this thing just whittled by the toxic damage, it it, it dies. Sorry for toxic to get nerfed. <laughs> I did all this damage. And then I could switch. Is there a point in switching? No, oh, because if Lander's gonna lock itself into moves, it's gonna be Stone Edge, right? Oh, I could switch to get Stealth Rock up. And the Lander's just can't switch in again, I guess? But he could size with- he could just hard- okay. So, if he size with Toss right here. As I go Lander's. No, I think he dies, because doesn't size with Toss work with uh, Rocky Helmet? I'm, I don't remember. Remember, I'm a uh, I'm noob. I'm just gonna sack this and hope he doesn't, like, crit me. With what you call it, uh, Stone Edge, because I don't have. I think he does. He come out first too. I don't, I don't know how that's supposed to work. Yeah, he does come out first, because I think he's faster. I think that's the the rule. And uh, we'll click Stone Edge, I guess, or U turn. U turn does U turn kill? No, I'm, I'm a man. We, we click it. I'm I'm feeling like a man today. Yeah, get out of my face. Just get out of my face. That was, that was a little too close. A little too close. But, uh... We'll take it. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll take those. That was annoying that my Starmie died, like, on the first turn. It just exploded. He has a Weavile. I have nothing for Weavile. Especially if he has low kick, so... It's kind of GG. I kind of have to lead low... I'm kind of forced to lead low punny. Because I have nothing for Weavile, so I need something to revenge kill it with, and if this isn't Mega, it might not be able to do that well. I'm just gonna leave with it. He leads Scolipede. I'm not even gonna fake out, I'm just gonna return. Just get damage off on this. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Like, I'm gonna hit something. I know you wanna pass your plus one speed. This, this actually might be really annoying for my team, because I don't have Thunder Wave. I don't know what he wants to pass it to. Oh god, what would he pass it to? Hmm. Should I go Landorus here? Um. But I don't want- because if he subs, and then I go Landers, and he Talon Pass into Charizard. I it's like I can't click Earthquake. I don't want that to happen. Where I can't click Earthquake. I'm gonna spam this. I might have to sack this just so uh, nothing sets up. But let it be. Yeah, come take some damage. Who's taking it? <laughs> that's that's taking some damage. <laughs> uh, that's let's let's this. Do you need special attack investment to even kill me? Yeah, you you need some special attack investment if you want to kill me. Wait, it took 59 from return, so this doesn't have defense. So this might have special attack investment. How much does he need to kill me? It's like 100. No, it needs quite a bit. I mean, I'm just gonna return. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I speed you. I always speed you after plus three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I I knew that. I I knew that. Of course, of course, I always speed you after plus three. Uh, this clearly can kill me. 
Actually, I don't, maybe not. I'm, I'm assuming it can kill me. Yeah, if it has max special attack, it definitely does more than 100%. Mm. And I kind of need this revenge kill Weavile. The thing is, I know he's gonna expect me to switch, so it's like I should probably maybe try to return. But isn't there a rule you can only have one baton pass on your team? So you can't have baton pass on this, right? Because uh, if he has sub baton pass on this, it'd be annoying, but I don't think he can. Um, this doesn't get focus blast. Yeah, let's go Heatran. I think Ferrothorn's gonna be a little more useful. Oh god, I did nothing. I did, I did respectable damage, it was respectable. Now who's catching the storm? It's doing a lot of damage to everything. Maybe not Zygarde, I don't know how bulky that thing is. I, I've never seen that Pokemon, ever. So it might not do a lot of damage to that. Let's uh, go to our friendly Pokedex. Zygarde is not an OU Pokemon. It's a... Uh, that was the last one on the list. Hey, that's actually pretty bulky. Inferior Garchomp? Well, Garchomp is pretty damn bulky for some reason. And it has like a truck. This is just pre pretty bulky and it hits okay. Yeah. What happened? Oh, of course. Can't hit Magma Storms. Well, it, I am playing around with Mag. I got Magmasaur, I got Hydro, we got Stone Edge, we got all the inaccurate moves on the team. He does go into Zygarde now. <laughs> okay, that actually did nothing. Oh my god. I'm gonna taunt, because I'm assuming this wants to set up. If he wants to kill me, I'm gonna take it, because I don't want this thing setting up. I have nothing for setup sweepers, right? Uh, I think we go hard in the Lottie. If he goes for a dragon move, oh well. I mean, if he has sub, I think his dragon move is Dragon Tail. Well, we got the thing right here. Yep. Yeah. It'd be something like this. So I think I can let Lottie eat a Dragon Tail, worst case scenario. Or I can go Landers. Landers is probably better, because he can't switch. I get up. I don't get up Stealth Rocks. He has a Magic Bouncer. I should U turn then. Because his, his only play is Dragon Tail at this point, or Switch and SQR. So if I U-turn, I can go in the Ferrothorn, and he'll take damage if he doesn't go Espeon. But it's his magic. I mean, what else was my Landers doing on this? This is like the best Stealth Rock turret I get. I guess he's thinking I'm thinking that right now, which is why it's like kind of like a 50-50 scenario. But I have no problem with U-turning. Stealth Rocks are definitely good for like his whole team. Literally like his whole team. I mean, Stealth Rocks are always good, but it's just because that Espeon's alive. Don't want to take that chance because I actually don't have Rabbit Spin or Defog. It's supposed to be like the, the double bluff, right? The HP Fire Lottie and then the 4 Attack Starmie. I don't really care if. I kind of care if Stealth Rock's on the field because I have like U turn, you know, whatever. And he is definitely taking his time. <sighs> so, anyways, back to Tokyo Live. It, it is the weekend, right? And I'm supposed to be out there partying and stuff. No, 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 we don't do that around here. We're not, we're not, okay. So, I'm here for school, right? So, school and other stuff come first. Then, maybe I'll go on my own adventures and stuff later. Maybe. Probably not. The only place I'll probably go is Akihabara, because I'm a weep. But other than that, I'm not going to your, your fancy bar or whatever, your, your shady place. Yeah, I'm not that type of guy. This is not for me. This guy's actually not here. Should I just find another one? We'll see. I might find another one. But, uh, yeah, there's definitely a big difference between Tokyo and Okinawa. But to be fair, there's actually a lot of similarities, too. Um, I guess the main difference is, of course, just the sheer amount of people that are here. <laughs> To be fair, they kind of act okay. Some of them don't, but a good amount of them act just. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's like not that much really changed. It's just that I moved to a different area. It doesn't. It's just just because there's just so much more people. But it's like the same type of people, you know. I mean, I guess Japan is Japan. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. But I kind of expected it to be like way different. But it's actually not that different. 
So that guy just left. I don't know what happened. So I kind of just wasted a couple minutes. We're going on 30 minutes too. Uh, maybe we'll keep it long in 30 minutes. I don't know. Maybe I'll stream today too. I should probably just stream today. So probably this will be the last one and then we'll stream afterwards or something like that. We'll see. Um, he has a Bisharp. That threatens Starmie no matter what. And a Pharaoh. Mm. We don't want to lead Starmie against that. Low Bunny is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I have Scrappy for Gengar. I can just high jump kick turn one. Does Power Up Punch just kill this? Like, <laughs> no, I should fake out technically. Because this could be some sashed garbage. Because he let off with the Bisharp. It could be sashed garbage. So I'm gonna fake out. I know he has a Ferrothorn right there, but I'm really scared that uh, this is sashed garbage because he just let off with it like that, and I don't lose too much. I kind of lose a little bit of power going for fake out here if he's not sashed because high jump kick threatens everything except the Togekiss, which still does decent damage too. He does this stupid play. Okay, whatever. Whatever. He goes into it because he takes a butt ton of damage. It's fine with me. No, no, no. He didn't take any damage. He didn't take any damage. Okay, so Ferrothorn is dead. I mean, Low Pony's dead, so I'm just gonna return because this thing's dead. So we're gonna get that out of here because that thing's pathetic and did absolutely nothing that whole game. So I want it out of my face now. Fucking useless sack of shit. My Low Pony is actually the worst mega in the game. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're gonna get another one. Objection! <laughs> that didn't count for anything. <laughs> really? Really? Who brings in Ferrothorn on a low putty? Like, I could've just high jump kicked. But then I had to miss the high jump kick? Like, that was just the icing on the kick. Like, miss, the two misses. Like, no. Just no. Let's, we'll, we'll reset. We'll just reset. That never happened. Starmie's not bad against this guy's team. He has a, like, a really offensive team. That's where Starmie kind of shines. Uh, maybe leading off with it is a, a, not a wise decision. Uh, I, think, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. That's actually disgusting. He actually went in the Ferrothorn. When I could have just high jump kicked the Bisharp. <sighs> but you know, I thought it'd be Sash. Because he just let off a Bisharp. Who just leads off a Bisharp like that? Okay, something's... Ah, he has a... Damn it. Ah, shit. <laughs> this could be Sash garbage right here. This is like 95% Sashed. It's his only stealth rock on the team. It's an offensive team. Like, it has to be Sashed. Oh my god. I don't wanna. Okay, Psychic. Psychic. Because if it's Sash, we break the Sash and we play around the Volcano switching. He doesn't even er Earthquake me. I, ha I have a Starmie. <laughs> What? Man. I, I feel like I'm playing fun. I feel like my thought process is okay for some of these situations. But sometimes just just making hard reads over and over, just out just just straight up overpowers any thought process I try to go over in my head. But I think we're okay. Um, if he goes Metagross here, he's scum. I'm... Okay. Okay. He got his rocks up. I don't have Ravispin on the thing, right? So, hopefully, I can catch him off guard or something, but, like, anything he brings in here, for the most part, is gonna take damage from my Starmie. Unless one of these things are Scarf, because Starmie has his whole team. They bring the Dragonite, Ice Beam. Bunch of damage. Lottie, same thing. Thunderous. I don't think Ice Beam kills that one. It might. I don't. I don't know. Starmie isn't that strong. Oh, it has like a two percent chance to kill. Nice. Well, sure. Because he might not even Thunderbolt. He could do something else. Let's just Ice Beam. 
Just like three things weak to ice. He could be trying to scout here. No, he actually thunder wave. Don't get paralyzed. Kill it, kill it. And I got the two percent chance. That that's what we call justice. Justice. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Like he really thunder wave me. Scumbags. Now he's probably gonna go Dragon Knight and click Dragon Dance and bank on my para, and then I just lose. <laughs> if he goes Dragon Knight, I probably have to go Landorus and U turn into something. He goes Volcanion. Canyon. Uh, we can just Thunderbolt. He's probably gonna go for one of his stabs. Maybe, maybe not. I don't care. This thing's paralyzed. I don't have natural cure. It's dead. It did its job. I don't have Rapid Spin on it, so it basically did its job. I, I'm surprised he didn't go like Metagross. He really. Don't get paralyzed. Oh my! <laughs> That's the analytic. Oh, that's what it. Oh, oh I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. That's why it killed the Thunderous, because he went first, right? With the Thunder Wave, and then my Ice Beam does more damage. <laughs> that was not a 2% chance. That was a lot higher. Is there a way to, like, factor in the analytic damage on the Calc? Um. I'm not. I'm not sure you can do that but obviously because let's let's check the pokedex real quick because like come on i gotta i gotta step my game up i should i should i should know that instantly the second he thunder it's like oh i get an boost. bam dead 30 percent if i move last i move last against that thunderous and i move last against that volcano so i got those ko's because normally those usually would not ko uh yeah okay so we're gonna stop there it's been 30 something minutes. That one battle just did not count, okay? I did not get outplayed. I did not miss my moves. Nothing happened. You never saw it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, I'll show the team one more time. We're back in action. Uh, where is it? Team Builder. It should be uploading a little more frequently now that I'm settled in in my new place and stuff. No, I'm not gonna do Tokyo vlogs. <laughs> Maybe not. I, I don't know. But maybe that's for a later time, somewhere down the road, when I'm actually uploading like an active person usually uploads, and not someone who's like coming out of the freaking coffin every couple of weeks to say, "Hey, I'm still here." So yeah, got the Starmie. It's it's really cool to just lead off of this, or just when, whenever it's inside, it's guaranteed to dent teams because it does. It has a lot of coverage, and people don't expect it. Um. Of course, you can miss the Hydro Pump, you can miss a whole bunch of stuff on this team. Uh, Thunder Wave might be good for the Ferrothorn because I don't have a Scarf user or not, no priority outside of Fake Out. And then the rest, this defensive lander is nice, slow U turn, helps the low plenty. Heatran helps like Chansey and stuff, stall stuff. And then Lottie helps with Scizor as well as Heatran because most of the games I did lose while I was testing was to Scizor because my only answer was Magma Storm at first. But now I have HP Fire. And Maybe. Uh, whatever. But, uh, yep. That's gonna be it for this uh, shout-out live. You can leave a like or comment on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. And it's Gator around. See you guys next time.